vlog life, you go where the lighting's great. Wow, that's really good lighting. If I could have this lighting follow me around all the time, I would. Look at us, goddamn angels. Sorry, I'm tired. That's a jawline right there. Depositing money in the bank. Actually here for the lighting. No, I don't need more time. Last little bit of beautiful lighting. We're on our way to Andrews. Stopped at the bank. But now we're out of here. He's upset. So this has to be by far and away my favorite snack ever. Oh my god, I can't stop eating. I literally, I, I, if I could eat this for every single meal, I probably would. I'm honestly, I put it on my Instagram, uh, Zach Kirby Fitness, or at Zach Kirby Fitness, whatever you, whatever it is for Instagram, uh, a couple of days ago. I don't know. Check my Instagram at Zach Kirby Fitness. This thing is the best thing for cutting. It's tasty. It's sweet. It's also salty. Um, it's also good on macros, uh, especially because I have a hard time hitting carbs and fats. So this. Just kind of finishes off. I have it like almost as a dessert. I mean, I already, I already had an ice cream sandwich today too. A skinny cow chocolate ice cream sandwich. But those are really good in your macros. So I added this in too because I was craving it. And I was really low on fats and really low on carbs. I still am. But I love this anyway. So I'm going to have it. And I'm talking. Boom. There it is. Woo. That is white chocolate wonderful. Peanut butter. A, uh, a ser One serving of that which is 32 grams. Uh, which is about 16 grams of fat. I have one serving of mini chocolate chips, milk chocolate ones, four grams of fat, nine carbs, on two pieces of Sara Lee butter bread, which is again, it's only about 26 grams of carbs. It is wonderful. If you're cutting and you love peanut butter, or you love chocolate, or you love bread, any of those things, combine them all into this. It's amazing, it tastes great, it kind of fills you up pretty well, and it gives you that sweet with the salty and everything else that you ever wanted. It is a dream, try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. See ya. Oh yeah, baby. The new knee wraps have come in. Mm. So they just got them in the mail right now. Bang. Bang? All right, okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can show you. Maybe I can't. I think I can. I'm gonna turn that light off, because that's annoying. Boom, there we go. That's way better lighting. Ah! Ah! There we go. Knee wraps just came in. Super stoked. I'm super excited about these things. They're uh, SBD by Anderson Powerlifting. These things are crazy, they're super sick. Um, they're thick and sick. Seven millimeters thick. Uh, these ones are pretty long, so they can double as like a, I don't know if you can see it, like a calf, calf wrap also. But I got the mediums because my legs are big enough for the largest for a standard fit, but I wanted the tight fit. It's just my joints are really loose, so my lower leg uh, wobbles around a lot when compared to my upper leg. Once you get into heavier weights, the wobble gets worse and the last thing I want is my knee to just kind of explode out to the side or collapse in while I'm doing weight and ruin my day. And probably the day after that too, maybe even a couple more days. So I'm about to hit the gym without Taylor because he is working today all day and he went this morning. So I'm gonna hit the gym right now. I'm gonna hit a chest and try workout, uh, actually chest and arms because I didn't get to hit biceps yesterday because we hit chest with, sh uh, we hit shoulders with blah, 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 back and I didn't get my bicep work in it. So I'm gonna do arms and chest. So I'm gonna hit chest first and then I'm just gonna superset buys and tries together. Oh, that's what I want, I want some Versa grips. The, um, I got, so I got these weird, these weird hands, a huge palms and normal sized fingers. So it makes gripping things super hard. Like can't hold as much like imagine doing a 315 pound deadlift for 15 reps with just your fingertips like that's that's basically how I'm holding it when I when I'm doing it. I got a little hook hands I will catch up with you later when Taylor and I go to his brother Andrew's house in Union City I'm gonna say Union City it's over by New York Hoboken area and then we're gonna go work out at Equinox in the morning and we're gonna hit a shoulder and I think we're just hitting shoulders and then I think we're gonna hit legs on Sunday so that's the plan see you later stands and France don't want to exclude women there anyways goodbye everyone what, what are you doing? why are you backwards what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing cardio just walking. Just walking or? yeah I'm just gonna walk so how long are you doing? I'm thinking like 15 20 All right. Equinox.
Rock your body. Rock your body. So we finished at Equinox, which was free because we had free guest passes, but we didn't use them because we got them for free again, anyways. And it's sick. The steam room was dope. The steam room was dope. Dope steam. Room. And then we went to Hoboken. Hoboken, the hipster paradise, and got Chipotle. And now we're on our way back because I have work. And then I'm gonna go golf. You can go golf tomorrow. Maybe. We're going golfing tomorrow, maybe. I'm going golfing tomorrow for sure. Dale and Mike is a maybe. And then I we're mean, gonna. It could, it could be just you, TJ, and Triple and Dad. I know TJ. Oh, was I don't want to. Uh, all right, that's the plan. So I actually just finished up playing another round of golf. Uh, I went out with Andrew, Taylor's older brother, today. Uh, the guy whose house I was staying at over the weekend, whatever yesterday. Uh, we went to Equinox. It was sick. I had a lot of fun. It was a really nice gym, really nice amenities. The steam room was unreal. The showers were super sick. Everything that you could imagine in the gym. Super expensive, obviously, because it's in New York City. It's insane. I went at home. Actually went to lunch, got some Chipotle. Went way over my macros yesterday because it was my cheat day slash refeed day. And then went to work for a couple hours. Started pouring. My tires are bald, so I left early because I'm a delivery driver. And then I went to Taylor's house and met up with Taylor and Ryan. We went on a little adventure that turned into us. We went to Cheesecake Factory where I seriously just demolished my macro. Like, if it wasn't a cheat day before, it ended up being a cheat day. But it's good. Got me a little bit of sanity back because I was losing it with the eating. It's hard just eating like such strict diet and food all the time. But this was nice. It was a good, refreshing little twist. Got some cheesecake. I got some enchiladas, some like fried mozzarella. It was my favorite stuff ever, which was great because now it's out of my system, the craving for all those things. And I can get back to my diet get nice and on track, lose that last bit of weight, and hopefully be uh, show ready. So I'll keep you updated. My girlfriend's coming in tonight from California. So I'm gonna go pick her up at like 10.30, I believe. 10.15 she lands, so I'll be there at like 10.30. And then uh, I got a bunch of stuff planned for the week. So possibly keep you updated on that, maybe not. I wanna make the most of the time. But see you later.